and we're live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Black Wealth Aspirations, Building Generational Wealth with me, the Budgetista. How do we narrow the widening wealth gap, gap and both protect and empower generations in the future? The good thing is, is that we have the tools that we need to succeed and savings is really the key. It's with savings that you're going to be able to potentially grow your wealth. It's with savings that you're going to be able to, to create a safe landing space. Wealth is a tool that can be used to enhance life. Because with wealth, you can have access to better health care. With wealth, you can have access to better education. With wealth, you can have access to experiences. This is going to impact our children and future generations to come unless we actively make a choice. That's why you're here today. We're talking about entrepreneurship and wealth. Black entrepreneurship decreases the wealth gap and Black businesses positively impact the communities around them. We have a special guest. Her name is Marcia Cork, but I would love to know what are some myths or misconceptions that you've heard about um, finances and being a business owner? Just so much I didn't know about entrepreneurship or being a small business owner. What was the moment um, when you knew that um, you needed a plan to build generational wealth. I wanted to still be able to pay for college for my kids and I wanted to still be able to retire comfortably. I just want us to understand that like black generational wealth is feasible and possible and, and that one of the tools that we can use to get there, you know, for those of you who are in that space, certainly is entrepreneurship. So home ownership is fresh on the brain for me. Home ownership is an important stepping stone to building generational wealth. Favor, welcome, my dear. Hi. You shared that you are a homeowner, correct? Yes. You know, and how did that process go for you? We bought about a year ago and it kind of happened. It was, it was a lot. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say it like that. Let's talk about misconceptions, favor, when it comes to home ownership. There's so many things you actually qualify for as a first-time home buyer yes. that I think maybe is not widely advertised. Not only can buying a home become attainable, but it can also contribute to closing that wealth gap. We deserve to live well now. We deserve to look forward and take care of our parents if we so desire. We deserve to look currently and take care of ourselves, and we deserve to look backwards and and take care of those coming after us. No matter what happens, there is a sense of hopefulness, of grace, of space, of there is a better day coming, that of possibility. Do you feel that? You know? Like no matter what happens, somehow we know that this is not the final say, that there is a way. 